Angles formed by parallel lines. Recall, so we're going to summarize the relationship between the following angles which we did last video. Corresponding angles are equal. Alternate interior angles, the Z ones, are equal. Corresponding angles, remember, look like this. They are facing the same direction. Uh, alternate exterior angles are equal. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary and exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are also supplementary. Okay, so for example one, we're going to go through, find the angle measurements and use our rules as we go through. So I can see right away, one of the easiest ones to kind of see are vertically opposite because it makes an X. If this one appears 154, I know angle two down here is 154 degrees and we used vertically opposite. Um, this angle over here, 5 and 154, these are corresponding angles, so I know they're going to be equal. That is also going to be 154 degrees. Angle 5 and angle 3 in here are what are called, remember they're interior angles on the same side of the transversal, and they're supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. So I know that the angle three up here, if I use my calculator, I would get 24 degrees. Now I have angle three and angle four. These are what are called alternate interior because I have a Z. So if their uh, alternate interior angles are equal. So if it's 24, angle four is also going to be 24 degrees. I can see that angle four and angle one facing the same direction are corresponding angles, they're equal. So angle four and angle one must be equal. So angle one must be also 24 degrees. And I can finish off the rest of this quite easily. Angle four and angle seven are vertically opposite. Therefore, angle seven is 24 degrees. They have to be equal. And angle six and five are also vertically opposite. So they must be equal, which means angle six is 154 degrees. You don't, don't necessarily have to find the uh, angles in order. And you can also use rules that are basic, like angles on a line, like angle 1 and angle 154. These two angles together, those two right there, must be supplementary. They have to add up to 180. So I could take 180, subtract off 154, I get my 24 degrees that way, and that would be how I could get the angle there too, just based on the fact that they're on a single line. Okay, so you don't have to start with number, angle number one. You can kind of jump around a little bit as long as you're using your rules effectively and accurately. A second example here. So I have this angle and you always look for the angle that you're given first. So this angle down here is 125 degrees. You can find all sorts of different angles that, uh, that work with this, 125 degrees. I can see that uh, these, two ang these two lines are parallel. They should have arrows on them to show that they're parallel. If they don't, then they should. Um, they probably do, I think almost all your questions do. And the arrows denote that they're parallel. And so therefore AC, this line here, is my transversal. I can see a corresponding angle, 225, facing that same direction as angle Z up here. So that angle there is also 125 degrees. I can see that angle Z and this angle F over here, or sorry, angle Y and angle Z, are vertically opposite. So this angle Y up here would also be 125 degrees. And I can see that uh, this angle X here and this angle Y form an entire line. That, that means they're supplementary. They have to add up to 180, which means that angle X must be 55 degrees. Because if we take 180, subtract off 125, you will get 55 degrees. Okay, so you can use angles on the line, you can use all your rules corresponding, alternate interior you can use as well, uh, interior angles on the same side of the transversal, your alternate interior are your Z angles, your X angles are like your uh, vertically opposite angles, all those rules still apply. So hopefully that will help uh, just again, you can go back to the beginning of the video to recall the rules. They're all up at the top and you can go back to the other video too to see uh, diagrams of each one.